SideFX has released a technical preview of the Houdini 19.0 Apple Silicon build, a version of Houdini natively built for Apple M1 hardware. The technical preview provides early access for Mac users interested in testing and providing feedback. Note that the Houdini 19.0 Apple Silicon technical preview build is not production ready and will not be supported by SideFX for production use. To download the Apple Silicon build, go to the SideFX website and in the main menu bar, go to Get Download to get to the download page. Note that you need to be logged in before accessing the download page. Once logged in, scroll to the bottom of the download page and click on the Daily Builds button. On the Daily Builds download page, make sure that you're viewing the old installer builds and not the launcher builds. If the green button at the top says Switch to Old Installer, for example, like so, then click on the button to ensure you are viewing the old installer builds. Then select the Show All button at the top of the page. And then scroll to the bottom of the Houdini 19.0 section, and there will be a subsection titled Apple Silicon Builds Tech Preview. This is where the latest Apple Silicon builds will be listed. SideFX has also set up a form specifically for Apple Silicon build topics. To access the form, go to Community, Form, then look for Apple Silicon Feedback in the form list. In here you can post feedback pertaining to the Apple Silicon build. You can also submit bug reports to the form. Please do not submit Apple Silicon bug reports to SideFX support. The Apple Silicon build is a technical preview and is not production ready and is not supported for production use. SideFX support will not respond to Apple Silicon bug reports. To determine if a bug is specific to Apple Silicon and not a general Houdini or Mac OS bug, please check if the bug also exists in the main Houdini Mac OS x86 underscore 64 build. Finally, before posting, please review the README page at the top of the forum. This page contains all of the information that was mentioned in this video, as well as up-to-date information on known limitations in the Apple Silicon build. Thank you for watching this video, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.